Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now today we're going to be doing a Netflix review. We haven't done one of these in a hot minute. We're talking about Murder Mystery Part 2. Hold on, let me stop real quick. We have a new member in the family. This is Frank. I was looking back and I don't think I actually reviewed the first Murder Mystery movie that did come out like in 2019. So that was pretty early on when I started doing reviews. So one, either I hadn't started doing reviews yet and he is moving the camera or two I chose not to do a review on it uh, but you won't even watch it but you won't even find it like in my monthly recaps because I didn't start doing monthly recaps till 2020 so I did not rewatch really the first um, movie again from when I watched it back in 2019 and I guess technically you don't really need to watch it I mean I, I kind of got caught, caught up a little bit. This movie does not go with how the ending of the first part, which is um, on the Oriental Express, which I thought it was kind of cool. And I was like, oh, if there's gonna be a second part, that would be kind of neat to be on the, or on the Oriental Express, just kind of like a, a murder mystery there. Sadly, that's not what happened here. Quite honestly, I think I would have preferred that just because what we got here was a lot of what we got in the first one just not as entertaining as the first one of course adam sandler movies they're kind of hit and miss let alone adam sandler netflix movies get hit and miss and although the first movie kind of sort of hit for me i think i still gave it like two and a half stars on letterbox i think after the rewatch and after watching this one i did increase it up to three stars it's just like a movie that's there that you don't really care to rewatch again if that makes sense where Audrey and Nick are two years later well they have quit their jobs and they have opened up a detective agency because why not you know we solve one murder this high profile case why not just like quit our job that we didn't really care about and try to make our own business and being like a private eye of course they're not the best right you would you would assume that's what you go oh I have to keep an eye here before he tries to take off with stuff even though it is called murder mystery 2 there's really not a murder that we're solving i mean there is a murder but they don't really care for the murder very much we're concerned about the kidnapping of one of the people there we won't see anything there just because you know we don't want to spoil anything these are of course all spoiler free reviews i may give a little spoiler here and there but like the irrelevant things you know it is more of a kidnapping hostage situation once again get an extravagant invitation to this very high profile island but again we're not gonna get too into the movie you guys this movie is just about an hour and a half long it's one of those netflix adam sandwich branching movies if you have nothing else to watch and you want kind of like a little murder mystery without the murder part like if you want a kidnapping hostage situation mystery going your way then this could be a movie for you to watch personally i would recommend the first one over this one you know it was a movie that i enjoyed in the situation that i was at the time which is i went out saturday morning walked around ate came back sat down watched a movie i was kind of tired it was just relaxing it has of course your typical adam sandler ridiculous deals which I guess it'll be a spoiler, but I guess one of those irrelevant spoilers where the animals that are around have diapers on. Yeah. There is one pretty decent, I guess, like chase scene. And it has one of my favorite type of like comedy kills, which are the accidental kills. I just absolutely love that when those are incorporating these stuff in movies. Once it comes to like Jennifer Ashton and Adam Sandler, I honestly don't feel their chemistry. I'm definitely more of a team adam with drew you let me know down below what are you team drew or, or team jen i love both of them y'all i love both of them i'm not like oh my god like no 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 i'm just like preference yeah i hear him over there in the back lord puppy if you haven't already don't forget to give this video a like subscribe uh comment share all that good stuff what did you think about this one do you like the first one do you like this one are you just like hell no i'm not gonna watch it at all let me know down below overall i'm just gonna give it a small popcorn honestly it's it's a very forgettable movie the first one is also forgettable like i said when i was re-watching this one when i'm re-watching when i was watching this one and we had those two characters from the first one i'm just like was he in the first one they are enjoyable i guess for the most part at that time but just again don't expect too much oh my god he's over there chewing up stuff stop ah. all right guys that is it for me today thank you so much for watching until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye